But if people come down, it's one of the closest spots you can get to whales. Saw 15 caribou and 27 seals in the last couple of days. And a little bit of whale. <laughs> My name is Ryan, and I've spent the last 12 years navigating a career in media that brought me around the world as a journalist, dabbled as a Canadian national weatherman, but home was calling, which happens to be... The most easily point in North America. And the oldest is Canada's province of Newfoundland and Labrador. So I quit. Now I want to find and tell the stories from this wild, unique slab of rock smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, it's the community, right? The people, the beauty. So come join me and welcome to our beautiful home. All right, welcome to St. Vincent's Beach where once a year, every June, whales come in to feed on some fish close to the shore. It's probably the closest you can get to some whales, definitely in Newfoundland. I can't speak for anywhere else. Well, the sun didn't really come out today, but we're hoping that uh, that doesn't deter the whales from coming in. And in fact, pretty close here to seeing some whales pretty close to shore. Let's see if I can't turn around and show you guys something. Nope. Haha, <laughs> there we go. There's the blow. Right, let's see if we can get a little closer, some better shots. Let's get the drone out, hey? Plenty of people taking in the sights and sounds, including these two, come from a ways as we call them. Hello. How y'all doing? Great. Great. Excellent. You enjoying the show? Amazing. Awesome. Where are y'all from? We're from Guelph, Ontario. Guelph, Ontario. Cool. How exciting is it to be this close to? Amazing. Amazing. Pretty you good. We've been lucky with wildlife the last couple of days. We saw 15 caribou and 27 seals in the last couple of days. And a little bit of whale. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, the first time had fun. It was like a game chasing them, seeing where they'd come up and uh, and uh, finding them where, oh, you got me, you, you tricked me. <laughs> There's a couple of spouting and breaching out here right now. So it's a fun game to play. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Yeah, and, and, and it's a wonderful experience to be so close to nature. We've often seen them far away to be so close. We feel at one with nature. Absolutely. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. Best of luck, right. eh? Good luck. Yeah. Take care and nice meeting you. Thanks again. You can see people from Newfoundland, from Ontario. Honestly, people from all over the world do come here. Uh, I was here yesterday morning as well, and there was someone with National Geographic flying a drone alongside me. So plenty of people come down. It's one of the closest spots you can get to Wales. Further out today, as you can see, one breaching <laughs> there right now. Well, it's windy as all get out here on uh, on the beach. They tell me it's summer. Doesn't feel like it. Got my big jacket on, but whatever. There's whales in them waters. Now, one way to help find the whales, we've mentioned a few times now, it is a bit of a game of chase, but it's to use these birds as navigators. The birds are gonna fly out around where the whales are in hopes to get the seconds from those whales that they might miss. Now, we're also seeing some of these birds their gannets just absolutely nosedive into the water right there, splat. They're all doing it really. It's quite the sight on top of the whales. 
dive in a little closer. A lot of luck that goes into your day down here looking for the whales. The weather has to cooperate. It's much more picturesque when the sun is shining compared to the gray overcast day. The whales have to cooperate as well. I've been here years ago when they've been putting on quite the show, jumping out of the water, flipping over, getting that big splash, almost free willy-esque, different types of whales. But still, today they're kind of ho-hum, but still majestic and beautiful. You're going to take a chance for yourself. Come on down to St. Vincent's Beach, Newfoundland and Labrador. Until next time, take care.